on, man. Those other heavies they match, they probably match against us, dude. We're fucking pushing them. We're sitting here back with a bunch of cowards. You need to get in there. They're playing aggressive. They got the, they're holding the fucking, they're holding the ball right now. Because of that shit. Come on, we need to play accordingly. Why you guys playing it? Oh, no, my heavy is just back here tonight. Okay, that, that, that put you up against the heavy on the opposite team. Let's hope he has the same game plan. See, that's where they make destroyers when they want to play like that. You just, I'll, I'll just click it. I'll, I'll just, I'll play destroyer in my M1A2. Well, that's going to screw up matchmaking because they're going to match you up against the heavy who may want to play his tank the way it's meant to be played aggressively. See how this fucks up matchmaking. This is why people like me sit like I do. Get myself all worked up. Let's just set up the team and shit already, man. You guys gotta realize when you get you play your shit, you run your fucking PU, and you sit there and play in the back of the map until 80% of the team is dead, you, you don't scream life until there's a bunch of half dead tanks left. Run a destroyer, dude. You wanna play like that? Run a freaking destroyer. That's the way you wanna play. They make vehicles accordingly. Okay? And when you run your PU, so they match you up against another heavy accordingly on the other team, he decides, I'm going to play it like I should, like the heavy should be played, and ours, the one they match you up against, is playing like a destroyer. Do you see how this screws crap up? Okay? You got a light tank playing like a destroyer. Quote, unquote, he's got missiles now, but he's no longer required to scout him. Even though he's in the fastest goddamn vehicle in the game, but he's got missiles now. I don't have to spot. Apparently there's some new unwritten rule book about light tanks that I'm not aware of. Okay? Because as far as I know, they make destroyers that shoot missiles too. That justify them sitting in the back of the map. If you got missiles, if you ain't figured it out, you don't want to be in the back and turn the map unless you want to bake a one moron in every game running in the middle of the map, DTD, to shoot at. Otherwise they can light a cigarette up take a few drags, step backwards behind the rock to avoid the stupid missiles he's got from fucking God knows where. Oh look, there's something flying at us. As soon as I light the cigarette, I'll back up. You stay tight to the fucking head because apparently the only light is not justified to be a scout. You can't keep up with the shit with the Brad Abrams even, unless he was the right person, in which case he fucked himself accuracy wise. You know what, for the same breath, you stay tight to the fucking heavies, you stay right in the middle of them, you stay within yards of them. The shots get more accurate, you draw fire, you fucking run close. You stay close to where your support is. You support them. Look both ways before you cross the street, you don't eat yellow snow. Cause I ain't speaking shit other than the obvious. You idiot, I just, I never even played one game in World War fucking two. I have no fucking clue. I did 11,000 damage in a lost fucking game, and you played your shit, your main battle tank, like a freaking coward destroyer. Good for you? You're at the top of the leaderboard of a losing fucking match? Yay! I'm a king! You're a coward! MB70, I watched you play. All the damage you took was in the last freaking three minutes of the fucking game. Coward! Run a destroyer!